Alright hey guys, welcome back to the FIFA 21 Celtic career mode. Before we get into this, I just want to have a quick look here at the overall players, the overall ratings of the uh, Celtic players. And you can see Laxalt is the highest, 77 joint with Shane Duffy. You've got Barkas on 76, along with El Yunusi. Uh, I thought it was weird that the three lone players, El Yunusi, Laxalt and Duffy, and obviously Barkas, the guy that they paid money for this season to import him from a different league, are four of the highest rated players in this Celtic team, even though arguably all four of them have been uh, dog shite. So that just goes to show that they don't they don't credit the Scottish League. They don't think the Scottish League is any good. And that someone like Duffy, who's been absolute garbage, can come in and get a 77 rating. Same with Laxalt, just because he plays for AC Milan. He's came in. Has he been better than Greg Taylor? No, but FIFA will give him a 77 rating, whereas Greg Taylor only gets a... What does Greg Taylor get? Fuck, how low do you have to go to get Greg Taylor? I don't even see Greg Taylor. There he is, 72. So, is Laxalt 5 better than Taylor? I don't think so. Uh, Scott Bain. I don't even rate the guy that much. But is he really... How many ratings... Is he really 3 worse than Barkas? If anything, he should be 3 better than Barkas. So, um, just wanted to point out there. FIFA, again, always screwing Scottish teams. Giving the Scottish Premiership no credit. Just think... They think it's a shit league. And anyone who comes from a different league will automatically be rated among the highest players in the in the in the league. So anyway, that's it. Let's move on to this episode. Last time out was shite. We lost four three to Ross County. Absolute disaster. So we need to make up for that here. Uh, there's no excuse losing four three to Ross County. So I'm not going to go on about. It. I'm not going to try and find the excuse or try and you know come up with a reason why we lost. We, we lost because we were dog shit. So let's go and let's go and win this one here. We're taking on Hamilton up first. Uh, you can see Aberdeen are still leading the way. They are twelve. Play games played and they are on 31 points now they have lost a game so at least there's well, at least we have a bit of hope that we can catch them but we need to win our games before we worry about Aberdeen so let's go out and beat Hamilton Forrest in towards Christie we sidestep looking for Brown Brown's making the run and Christie gets fucking tackled down the referee ain't having it well, Christie again out to Edward Edward oh no Edward son how have you no kept that down? Neil Lennon, absolutely can't believe it. He knows he could be at the job centre tomorrow morning if Celtic don't get a win here. Edward praying to uh, the fake man above. Why didn't that go in? Shit on oil. How's that no win? I think he's offside. I think uh, is it Dave? No, it's not David Templeton. I don't know who it's. Martin. He may have been offside. I may have been onside there, but he's put it wide regardless. Well, you see, cuts in to Edward, Edward, lays it off to James Forrest, a bit, pass wasn't the greatest, Forrest though, we a wee nice wee step over, turns in, finds Christie, Christie to McGregor, McGregor takes a shot for distance, and it's Gourley with the save. Right, ball it to Elianusi, Elianusi, first a pace, takes it in his stride, it's Elianusi, tight angle, doesn't matter, tight as fuck, and he still squeezes it in. What a goal for Elianusi. It was a joke there, I'm just not going to, I'm not even going to go in that direction. The only direction we need is the ball going in the back of the net. Bang, Eliusi put Celtic 1-0 up here. Lovely strike, should the keeper do better? Absolutely. I mean, keeper should contemplate killing himself after that one, but here, he's gave us the win. Probably would have been better off with a ghost in there. would have put up more of an attempt to save that, but hey, 1-0 Celtic. Cal McGregor, out to Edward, Edward's on the run again. It's odds and Edward, odds and Edward, and odds and Edward makes it too. On the counter, he bangs it in for a third time as well, just to make sure. Are we going to get double goals, are we going to get double points? It doesn't look like it, but we've doubled the lead. And that is all that matters, Edward celebrated at the corner flag. Much needed, uh, much needed three points look like they're on the way here. Into the Celtic bank. The Celtic funds are going to be allocated with an extra three points after this one. You have to feel Edward slotting it past the goalkeeper, and it's 2-0. Well, McGregor, we're looking dangerous again. We've got numbers. The numbers are our, our advantage. McGregor takes it around. Easton McGregor shoots. Can't get it anywhere near the goal, though. Great run. Shite shot in the end. And all again, there's another pass through to Edward. He's through. Odson. Odds and Edwards strikes it again from distance. I don't know what he's going for there. Just because he fucking, just because he scores one tap in, man, he can literally think he can score from anywhere. I mean, not today. 
I should decrease his uh, transfer value by about 5 mil. Uh, I was going to say once that transfer value went down, but I don't think he has a value. And there you go, he can hold his hand up and apologise. Oh, he wants it's half time. It's 2 0 at uh, Celtic Park. And if we just keep playing like this, we should see at the game. We've given Halden most of the possession, but when they lose it, we're just on them like a fucking rash on the counter. And they cannot shake us off. So let's continue in the second half. Fuck off, really? And that's all Barkas' fault. I, I'm, I'm lost for words. Maybe it's my fault. Pass was shite. <laughs> Rattles off the bar. Mayo with the rebound. Or Moyo. Mayo. Fucking catch up for all I care. 2 1. Oh, Christy, great that play. Back through to Brown. No, it's blocked. McGregor. Hit towards the Alinusi. Back to McGregor. McGregor finesses it. And it's well over the bar. And the crowd behind the goals ducked for their life because the shot was that shit. Christy. Get to El Yunusi, El Yunusi. Oh, a nice wee step over El Yunusi. Gets a burst of pace away from his man. It cross comes in. It's McGregor. And he jumps for the header. Can he get it? Forrest. And towards Brun. Brun's shot's blocked. It's going to fall back for James Forrest. James Forrest can't win the header on it. Brun's there. He dives in the way and just makes a mess of it. And now it's a... Oh, no. A good, good uh, Julian there. Julian and I are getting the job done at the back. And Chiam whips it in. It's headed the way. It's going to fall for Frimpong. It gets headed on. Taylor should collect this all day long. Taylor out to McGregor. Edward flicks it on to Ninchiam, who just got brought on. And we should have left him on the bench. We shooting like that. Ball to David Templeton. No, no, no. Slide in, Adger. Just about puts Templeton half and off and... Brown should get to that. He doesn't get to it. Ah, Julian no runs it and he gets to it. Julian, like a true warrior, saving the day. Now it's Ninchiam. He's got El Yunusi out wide. El Yunusi looking for Forrest. He might actually find Forrest. 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 We're crossing. Ninchiam was there. I couldn't get it. Oh, good save. Well, I say good save. He, if he didn't make that, he'd be on a one-way flight back to Poland, but... It's a save nonetheless, it keeps us ahead in this game. Ball gets whipped in, Moyle's trying to get to it. I think Forrest heads it away. Moyle with another shot, it's another shot straight at the keeper. Barkas celebrating as if he's won the fucking World Cup. Cam down, Barkas, you ain't won nothing yet. At this rate, you'll be winning the wooden spoon, but here, you keep celebrating if you think it's going to help your performances. Can we count on it? It's Forrest. Just keep on going, Forrest is going to run here. And Forrest is the pace, he has the pace, he has a man out wide, he's going to try and find the substitute, Mikey Johnston, Mikey Johnston, surely to finish it, hits it right at the keeper, gets a rebound chance, it's right to him again, Johnston, still got the ball, should have scored Griffiths, we just brought him on, Griffiths lays it off to Scotty Brown, and Scotty Brown has scored the captain, oh man, Lee Griffiths and Brown combining, does it get any worse than that? Scott Brown celebrating, that will seal the deal. I mean, this should have been a comfortable win, but to be honest, the second half, if anything, it looked like Ross County were going to get an equaliser, but finally we'll put the nail in the, uh, the Ross County coven there, the final one, bang. 3-1, Selick, and that'll get us all three points today with five minutes to go. Mickey Johnson. Mickey Johnson. Oh, what a go oh, it's not in. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but Mickey Johnson, he, the wee sidestep there, created a ton of space for himself. Got the finesse shot away, but... Well, that is embarrassing. Did you see Julian getting absolutely done in there? Oh, we'll see it in the replay. Julian sliding in, falling over his own feet. Moyo uh, plays for his teammate. It is 3-2, but it's not going to really matter. Charlie Trafford may have got a goal back, but it's, it's going to be a... It's going to be a waste of time as we take a kick off. Celtic win, three goals to two. Not happy with that, man. I think we should have smashed it in the day. I think we should have won that comfortably, but in the end, it's just a one goal win. But here, yeah, win's a win. Uh, we needed that win. We got it. Scott Brown an 8.3 rating. Uh, I don't know why. Moyle was the man in the match, 8.9. Fair play to him. But here, we don't care about match rates. We care about points, and we got all three today. So it's exactly what we need it. Alright, so that win did momentarily move us up into third place, but Ross County have since then played a game. They drew it, 
So that means that they're back in front of us, but obviously we can re-overtake them with a win in the next game against fellow top six side uh, Dundee United. Rangers won a game. The gap is at six points. We've got a game in hand. We win that, then we get it down to just three points. And Aberdeen drew. So Aberdeen dropped more points. They're only five ahead of the Rangers now. If we win our game in hand, they're only eight ahead of us. And you really feel like Rangers and ourselves, if we can just go into a good bit of form, I think we'll catch Aberdeen and it looks like it's going to be an old firm shootout for the title. But we need to go on a good run. Earlier in the season, we went on a four-game winning streak. We need to do that again, but only more. Five, six, seven, eight-game winning streak and put the pressure on the teams above us. Oh, so here we go, Barca, that's in Nets, Laxo, Adger, Julian, Abbey, El Mahadi, Forrest, Brown, Turnbull, Johnson, Christie and Edward. The bad news is Shane Duffy's injured for this game. The good news is he wouldn't be getting anywhere near the fucking team anyway. So let's go. Christie, out to, oh, Edward brings the ball in control. And it's like, what a save that is for the goalkeeper. Fucking stretching there like Superman, Spider-Man, growing new limbs to make a save for that ball. What the hell? Ryan Christie then, looking for the run. He tries to find Edward. And, oh, it's been taken away from him, Forrest. Oh. We'll keep this in, just about. And he chests it out like an absolute spastic. Never mind. Well, he wins it back, though. Forrest should get a court one. Oh, Robson keeps it in. Dundee United fighting for every ball here. Forrest, I don't know what's he doing there. He's found Bolton. I fucking wish he would transfer to Bolton. That was shite. It's through to Shanklin now. Shanklin doesn't miss until today. Thank God he missed. I'll, I'll not complain. He must have left his shooting boots in Dundee there. Christy out to Edward this time. Come on, Edward. Please through Forrest. James Forrest strikes it from a narrow angle and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Come on, can we take advantage? Quick corner kick into the head. And Julian, and Julian puts it in. Get in. I just seen the ball was launched, locked and loaded onto that big dome there of Julian. It bounces half it. And it goes into the back of the net. So big Julian there, for getting the job done. Just standing there, he's like, no one's going to take this off me. Boom. Kind of goes right through the keeper's hands. Keeper should probably do better there, but hey. If the keeper wants to have a shape performance on my behalf, then uh, I'll settle for that. Bruin. Oh, what a pass for Bruin. It's James Forrest, and James Forrest doubles the lead. But hell, Scotty to Bruin there. Fucking Lionel Messi in disguise as Scott Bruin. The Scottish Messi. He made a messy Dundee United there. And no wonder he comes and joins in the celebration. He should be right in the middle of that big hug there. Getting the biggest, tightest hug of them all. <laughs> what a pass there, spinning it in to Forrest and creates the space, Forrest then blasts it in, 2 now, and that should see us out here because Dundee United have offered very little in this game if we're being honest. To Forrest, Forrest still getting the fruit, it's slid in, it's, oh it's a disaster, don't know how we've not put it in there, Edward gets the ball, strikes it, blocked, it's falling for Turnbull, Turnbull tackles way behind and nothing comes for that. Oh shit, no, 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 Barker's been a good save actually. Jesus, I can't believe it. The last couple of games, Barker's actually no did too bad in terms of making saves. Adger with an interception there, crucial interception. Well played it to Mikey Johnson, who's got support with him. Let's see what Johnson can do. He's cutting inside, he's trying to take this Dundee United defence apart. Can he get the ball around Edwards here? Perhaps he looks for Scott Brune edge of the box. Scott Brune shot. Vanessa blocked. And then they're coming forward, but there's not enough time left, surely. Referee has to blow the whistle. What's he waiting on? He's waiting on them fucking scoring, probably. Shot comes in, it's saved by Barca. It's going to be a corner kick. it been an extra minute and 20 played on here. I don't know why the referee is so adamant on us losing our clean sheet, but that appears about who he wants. We'll bring it on Griffiths now just to waste time. Ball headed away. McMullen still got it. Dundee United still with a chance. It's cleared away this time. Surely flicked on. And we will get a 2-0 win with a clean sheet. That's back-to-back -back wins. And we're beginning to look good again after a wee tricky spell there. A, t a terrible defeat. That 4-3 match last time out. We're, we're bouncing back after losing to Ross County. And that was a, it was a quiet game. We didn't do much, but we dominated the game. We, we controlled the game. And we got the win with a clean sheet. So I don't think you can ask for much more than that. I'm happy enough 
with that performance. Anyway, then you can see the win then closes the gap back to Rangers just to three points. We're eight points behind Aberdeen. And uh, we're beginning to look like we can... I think we'll still win the title. I think we will. It's not been a great start to the season by any means, but I can definitely see signs that we can go on really good, long winning runs. I think, I think we will. It's only, I think it's only a matter of time before we catch up with Dean. Do I believe we can keep pace with Rangers? I do. Do I believe we can overtake Rangers? I do. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Next time we'll be taking on St Mirren, Mullerwell, and we'll maybe even do three games next time. So we'll take on Kelly as well. And uh, hopefully another three wins. That would be five on the trot. And then we'll just see how far we are off the top two after that happens. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the FIFA 21 Silly Career Mode. Uh, keep in mind, I'm still doing the giveaway. So whatever points you predict it, I, I hope I can get to that tally. At the start, it didn't look like I was going to get that many. But like I said, I'm confident we could go on a big, long winning streak here. Who knows? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Maybe even ten. Maybe we could even win ten in a row. Certainly couldn't win ten titles in a row. But maybe... Maybe I could win 10 games in a row. Anyway, that's it. Make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It helps the analytics and that in turn helps me. And, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for the support. And until next time, peace.